life is an obscure thing. Objectively, concerning general existence, you don't choose it. It's something that happens to you, like the people you meet who come into your life. Or a talent. By the time you even realize it's happened, you're nearly a quarter of the way through it. That's right around when your choices come in. Your choice to let life get to you, or to turn your worst moments into laugh-ats or learn-froms. It's incredible, really, how all of the non-linear stems of options all merge together to form a linear path of past and future. How the breadcrumbs we place develop roots and grow into little bread trees. A bountiful harvest. My life, while simple, follows the same archetype as yours, and your friends, and your neighbors. Everything I am now, everything I do now, is a culmination of the decisions I have made. For example, I chose to be a box for Halloween in the third grade, and when boys locked it on my face, I learned from that. Probably. I decided to drop out of college, without an idea of what I would do or where I would end up. The several months that I spent with no choice other to be my own best friend led me to not only learn to love myself, but it made me all the more grateful for the incredible friends I have now, who make the choice to love me too. I chose to move to New York City in September and live with my sister Maddie. My walls are still bare and the metaphorical paint that represents the sentence, I live in New York, has yet to dry. That being said, I'd paint this entire city, all boroughs included, if only to watch it settle. It would be my privilege. But like anybody else, I succumbed to a case of self-diagnosed city sickness, and I made a last-minute decision to take myself on a road trip. I had no destination in mind. The decision was financially irresponsible and arguably purposeless, but I felt it was something I needed to do. I left early in the morning, bringing only the clothes on my back and a guitar. I have embarked on my mission. I do not have a destination, but I just put Florida in so I can drive as far south as need be. And though I had no plan, and the things that occurred were so far from anything that I could have planned, I still think this trip went exactly how it needed to go. Tell her that has been with me for like three to states, and especially but I think I have to part with them because I have to get like gas. To keep it on. I got my coffee. It's so cold. I passed DC. <laughs> it's so cold. Back on the road, southbound. At night, I wake up at I got a speeding ticket. <laughs> a cold sweat, I am in North Carolina. Almost to South Carolina. <gasps> bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Won't... Oh wait, no, I already did it. We are now in the state of North Carolina. We are now in the state of South Carolina. We... Something bad has happened. <laughs> my tire exploded and I went into a ditch. <laughs> I think I'm going to die here. Waiting for a tow truck. My knight in shining armor, <laughs> Ricky, is here. Nice. Awesome. I really, I have no idea, but yeah, yep. <laughs> this is, this is the sedge. We drove like 50 miles to get here and he has to go 70 back. I thought I would make it all the way down to Florida, <laughs> but instead I ended up settling in South this Carolina. This is my hotel room for the night. Um, I haven't yet decided which bed I'm going to sleep on. 
probably both. Just, I'll take turns. <laughs> I'm in Charleston, South Carolina. And, uh... I didn't know what I was looking for when I left New York City. But after getting into a car accident on I-95 in South Carolina, I learned exactly what it was that I needed. I realized that I wasn't ready to go yet. I thought I knew everything, and I know a lot, and I know even more about my tow truck driver, Ricky. But Ricky didn't know anything about me, and he didn't need to know anything about me. He took one look at me, and he knew what he needed to say. And what he said was, if you're looking for happiness, it has to come from you. You'll be miserable if you expect other people to give it to you. I'm not stressed out at all. Genuinely. Um, but it's been a day. <laughs> a funny one. <laughs> My lips are so trapped. It is bedtime for me. I have to go to bed. <laughs> Good night. And that was the biggest lesson I've ever learned in my life. That you can think you know everything, but what you don't know is so much more important. I don't know how to handle myself when I freak out. I don't know how to succeed in the career that I want. I don't know how to be kind to people sometimes. I don't know how to remove. But these are the reasons why tomorrow is exciting. These are the reasons why next year is exciting. And these are the reasons why I'm glad that I walked out of that car without a scratch on me. So I didn't quit on the road trip and I continued to spend time with myself. I am on a beach. <laughs> I made myself Family laugh. No. Said so. I made myself cry. I did not extend the car rental, so I have to drive to Virginia tonight! So it looks like I will not be chilling in Charleston. And I loved every minute of it. Update. The Uber, I, I was wrong. Off to Virginia! I am in Virginia. <laughs> Tomorrow is Civil War Battlegrounds Tour Day, because I have time to kill. Um, boom, boom, and time is like, no, don't. Okay. That was dumb. Um, I'm going to take the best bath of my life. Got my Sierra Mist, my Ted Lasso, and my fucking Taco Bell. <laughs> what the fuck? Boy, oh! Do you Goodbye, Virginia. I'm so tired that my eyes are like bloodshot. But I'll make it to New York after I see some Civil War battlegrounds in the Edward Edgar Allan Poe <laughs> Museum. Good night. Little red wagon, won't you be my darling? We are now in the state of Maryland. We are now in the state of Maryland. We are now in the state of Maryland. Won't you be my darling? And we are now in the state of Delaware. We are now in the state of Delaware. We are now in the state of New Jersey. We are now in the state of New Jersey. I made it back to New York, just in time to see the paint dry. I'm starting to settle in, and for the choices yet to come, however hard they may be, I am already grateful. And for the things I've yet to learn, I'm ready. I'm off to bed. <laughs> it was a good day. Good night.